Welcome to the new Z Inspector app. Let's get started. The first thing to keep in mind is that Z Inspector has both a mobile app and website, and they're designed to work together. But I'll be focusing here on how to use the app. When you first sign in on the home screen, these buttons are applicable across all your properties and units on your account, or those that you have access to as controlled by the website. The property or unit button is used to select a property, so you may actually perform inspections, view results, or manage tasks for that particular property or unit. Properties can be created on the app, the website, or synchronized with other property accounting software. The inspect button shows any in-progress inspections. You need to complete inspections in order for them to show on the website. You may use tasks for scheduling inspections, managing turnover, or even coordinating maintenance. Timeline slash history shows all of your inspections, even if previous inspections were completed by many users. Once you've uploaded your company logo, it will show up here. If you use Z-Inspector multiple companies, you can simply switch to a different company, such as a separate maintenance or property management company. In order to get started, you need to first pick a property or unit. You can create a property in the app or website, or go to the website to sync with popular software like Rentec Direct, Appfolio, PropertyWare, or Rent Manager, or you can even import a spreadsheet. If you have previous inspection history, Z Inspector will automatically select a property photo for reference. You may change that under timeline and pick a new photo if you prefer. To use Z Inspector, you can use Quick Pictures to informally take pictures, videos, or 360 images. You can use the Inspect button to fill out complete inspection templates or use tasks to manage inspections through a more defined process. Now we're going to show you how to capture media using Quick Pictures, but it's the same process whether you're coming from inspection templates or tasks. You first need to pick the general purpose for why you are there. We call those activities. All the tags, other tags are optional. Each successive press of the camera button results in another picture. You can use the video button as well to take up the one minute video clips dependent on the selected resolution. All screens on the app support rotation and use in landscape or portrait mode. You can optionally pick areas and details. You can tap or swipe to change the tags prior to capturing media. While you're capturing media, the tags such as areas, details, and comments are overlaid on top of the camera screen. You can tap the arrow to collapse or expand those tags. You can also use two fingers to zoom in and out, tap to focus, and control the white balance for certain situations like a flash on white walls. The gallery button allows you to view and even edit tags on previously uploaded items. You can use the markup tool to actually draw on previously taken pictures. The share button allows you to email and text media based on the available applications on your device. The 360 button facilitates instantaneous capture from an optional 360 camera. 360 images are ideal for providing perspective and embed automatically within your inspection reports. However, we recommend you also take standard dedicated photos for at least items that are damaged or need attention. Z Inspector will automatically upload 360 images to the website and embed them into your reports. All the background processing is handled for display on mobile devices. You may even reuse 360 images for virtual tours. Go to the support site to learn more about setup and other options. The inspect button is used to fill out actual inspection templates. Long-term Z Inspector users are familiar with the terms property management inspection and documents. These are now combined into a single process. When you tap inspect, you will see a list of all the available templates. We have pre-populated your account with a number of templates. Admin users should go onto the website to edit the templates and be sure to watch the specific tutorial videos on the support knowledge base. Many Z Inspector users start with move in or move out inspections. So let's use that as an example. If you have your tenants info synchronized with other software on the website, the names of those tenants will be available in the app automatically, even if you do not have an internet connection. You can also manually tap to add tenant names if you choose. Within the document template, we have a condition table. The condition table dynamically changes based on the characteristics of the particular property or unit based on the list of areas. You can simply tap edit areas to change the area list. Use that to add area descriptions, hold and drag to change the order, and both add and delete areas. 
You can do all this without an internet connection and your changes will synchronize to the website for future inspections. Within the conditioning table, you can do a quick press to expand the details within an area or a long press will allow you to skip an area or take you to the area editor. The list of details is controlled at the company level. Admin users can access the detailed customization page under settings on the website. For a particular example, let's expand the kitchen area and view the details within the kitchen. Details should be marked with a particular value, like new, satisfactory, or damaged. You'll notice that the condition values are already partially illuminated from the previous inspection here for immediate reference. You could use a checkbox to mark all details as satisfactory. For condition tables, it is recommended you take an overview picture of the area. It's also a great opportunity to take a video or 360 image for perspective. You can use the camera in portrait or landscape mode within the inspection template to take pictures of any damaged items or those that need attention. Within the media capture screen, you can actually make changes to the condition values or comments. All those changes update the actual inspection. If you do a long press on the camera button, it will actually pull up photos from the previous inspection for immediate reference. For another example, let's expand the living room. If it's all in acceptable condition, tap the checkbox above the S column to mark the living room as primarily satisfactory, but you can still make changes. For example, if you just installed new flooring, change the condition code to N for new. You can fully customize those condition codes by modifying the values within the template on the website. The default template allows you to hold the N button and change the condition code to E for excellent, or you can hold the S for satisfactory button and change it to F for fair or P for poor. Use the D for damages button if something is reserved that might be considered a tenant charge. The condition codes are used to rate the details of an area. However, if something needs to be done, you should separately set an action item. You can generate separate lists or tasks on the website for all the action items for a particular inspection. That's the starting point to coordinate your turnover repair work, for example. Your company defines a list of details to inspect with any particular area. However, sometimes certain details do not apply. For example, this particular living room does not have a window, so we'll mark the details for window window covering is not present. The details marked as not present update the Z-Inspector database and will be remembered for future inspections for that particular property or unit. In order to complete an inspection, the area must be either green for complete, or you can tap and hold to skip. You can then enter in various comments or complete any other specific requirements as defined by your company admin. Any custom requirements can be added by editing the template on the website. There's also now an inspection previewer for reviewing the inspection before submission. It's designed to just show the core inspection content within a small screen. You will need to submit to the website to see a fully formatted inspection. The templates support custom signature fields. If the field box is white, the signature is optional. If solid, it is required. You may assign either portrait or landscape mode. If you tap submit, that will process the report via your standard rules as defined on the website. By default, you'll get a report in your email. You can tap submit slash email to send a copy of the inspection report to tenants or owners. All of your tenant owner contact data is synchronized on the website and available within the app. You may also manually add additional email addresses for distribution. Your inspection report will now be available in your email, distributed throughout your company, and available on Timeline. Now I want to briefly talk about a more technical feature, and that is our upload queue. The queue now supports both multi-part and background uploading. The result is your inspection media uploads a lot faster. For example, even if I have my settings set to upload only if I had Wi-Fi available, a lot of items may build up in the queue. However, items will now upload in the background, even when the app is minimized. Some devices may require you to occasionally open the app to restart the upload process, but you can then switch to a different app and keep uploading at that time. We hope you enjoyed the new Z-Inspector 3 mobile app. If you need assistance, just let us know. We're here to help.